In this video, you will learn all the easy to follow but necessary steps to make a delicious breakfast hash and make it in cast iron. Hi, I'm Ron and thanks for clicking on this video. If you are new here, please click on the like and subscribe buttons and check out my other videos. Each fall for six weeks I cook at a hunting camp in Colorado. For six weeks I prepare meals for six different groups of eight to ten people. By far the breakfast item I get the most compliments on is this breakfast hash and you'll get lots of compliments too when you serve this chorizo sausage hash. Okay then, let's begin. I use my 15 inch cast iron skillet when making this hash for 8 to 12 people. If I were serving 4 to 6 people, I would cut the recipe in half and use a 12 inch skillet. When using a Dutch oven, I would use a 12 inch for 4 to 6 people and a 14 inch for 8 to 12 people. In this recipe, I much prefer ground chorizo, like that pictured in the Johnsonville package, and not the type that comes in a tube. In a heated skillet with a few tablespoons of oil, begin by browning the chorizo. I like to break up the sausage into small crumbly pieces, eliminating as much as I can any chunks of meat. Next, add onions and peppers chopped about an inch in size. Today I'm using a bell pepper, but I've also used poblano peppers. For convenience, and since I'm hungry and this is my main meal today, I'm adding the raw onion and bell pepper directly to the sausage. But normally, I would remove the chorizo from the cast iron skillet, then saute the onion and bell pepper combining them with the chorizo only after the onion and bell pepper are completely softened. Here I'm adding two 28 ounce bags of frozen potatoes O'Brien with onions and peppers. This recipe consists of one or two onions, one or two bell peppers or plebano peppers, one pound of chorizo sausage, and two 28 ounce bags of O'Brien potatoes. And it is the perfect ratio of each ingredient. After mixing everything together, Place in a 350 degree oven for 30 minutes. This chorizo sausage hash takes as good as it looks, and it's time for me to eat. Thanks for watching. 